it to your body in one minute one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with it is impossible for satan to attack you and leave your health anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars now listen one one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health listen listen this health you see i know that there are many doctors here and with all due respect i honor and i respect you we're having a training already for medical practitioners but can i tell you with all humility i've been in this business of ministry and the spirit life for a while i know what satan does it is impossible for satan to attack you and leave your health it's a lie how do you know mysterious manifestations they first start small he tests your capacity in the spirit and then you keep quiet it's just continuous headache that comes every month it's just it's just some demonic thing um help them please I, I know that this thing i'm just feeling serious pain i went to the hospital and they said it's nothing um it's just a it's just a mild bleeding situation it, the, the doctor said he does not understand but he's still there i just know that every time i lie down i see myself in a coffin somewhere and i wake up tired my friend get up from the strength of spiritual intelligence and begin to deal with that issue otherwise you would destroy your life hallelujah praise the name of the lord know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with you. there are certain tiredness that is not because of the work you are doing it's an attack from hell hallelujah heart pain headache and they tell you they found a tumor at the back of your head how did it get there we don't know what is going to happen now you need 10 million 15 million and you've saved just when you save to finally build a house i tell you it's an attack don't smile and say it's all right it's just part of these things hallelujah it's good to eat well walk with what the doctors say i eat well i make sure i eat healthy don't be careless but in addition to it, please come to terms with the fact that we live in a real world. And don't let Satan lie to you taking advantage of age. You are not the first person to be old. Refuse that thing that the older you are getting, the more you should deteriorate. I don't know about you, but I choose to reject it. No, as my days are, so shall my strength be. This is what my Bible teaches me. If you don't believe this, you will get into trouble one day you will wake up a young man 30 40 years you stand up as if you are 80 years reject that spirit it's like a part of me does not want to get up no everything god gave me must obey me everything if it's part of my body must obey me i wake up in the morning my head you must wake up my heart you wake up too my respiratory system you must wake up speak to your body in one minute in the name of jesus i will not die i challenge every health condition you bow to the name of jesus my eyes will see till my days are done my feet will walk till my days are done my hands will reach till my days are done go ahead take a minute and speak No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer, I cause fibroid, I cause prostate cancer, I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. You believe what you are doing? Satan attacks men. He attacked Jesus. He attacked the apostles. He attacked everything pro-God. 
he attacks everything pro grace he attacks everything pro life he attacks everything pro destiny he attacks everything pro wisdom your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you hallelujah praise the name of the lord your business was working well but the day you said i would take 20 percent out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children maybe young people who cannot make it satan said what did you say that jesus will benefit from this business all right i'm on my way coming hallelujah someone wants to bless you that's when they forget someone promises to lift you that is when they forget they vow calling the name of jesus that this week you will smile that is when they forget is your assignment to force them to remember no 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 listen if you are a businessman here and things have not been working please when it's time to pray i'm releasing my faith with you be serious and pray be serious and pray don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator. The arm of flesh will fail you. Oh. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You go to bed and you see yourself in a grave. Wake up and close that grave. Wake up and close that grave and curse the spirit that dug that grave. Hallelujah. Parents, don't watch. You see what I'm not scaring you, but you see the kind of disaster that is happening. Bless your children, speak over them, declare that you go out and you come in. The Bible says you're going out and coming in. You will not go out and get missing. You go out and I expect you to come in. No one chance, no satanic driver, anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children. In the name of Jesus, I said minus you and your children. I'm not wasting your time. When the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this, it is because he's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things. For some of you, you have lacked discernment. For some of you, it is carelessness. For some of you, it is, what's the third one? Ignorance. For some of you, abuse. But for some, you've done everything right. Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Doors, close. Help us, go away. Jobs, whatever it is. People who used to like you and want to help you, they see you and they say you are such a nice person. You have a great heart. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see how I can help your family. How about those who even go through the interview for the jobs? They've called your name. They've told you everything. They said, all right, you'll hear from us in two weeks. Two weeks have become two years. In destiny, your portion does not come to you. You force it to come. Did you hear what I said? He said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violent. And ladies and gentlemen, the spiritually violent will take it by force. Ministry will not rise till you force it to rise. Your finances will not rise. It will go up and down. He says, strong men retain wealth. You need to know how to command your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 